Welcome to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. Hey, in this episode, what we're going to do, we're going to continue our conversation on strategies, how to make 2021 your best year ever. Hi, it's Coach Joe Lucas, and uh, I'm looking forward to unpacking with you how to go ahead and create a powerful daily game plan. Now, if you go back to our last episode, right, we talk about our morning success ritual, right, our MSR, um, how to kind of get your mind and get focused and organized to go ahead and go into your day, right, with excellence. So let's talk about once you arrive, what does a typical advisor's daily game plan look like? But before we get into that, let's unpack some variations, some differentials here. So first off, you know, we have many, you know, listeners here, uh, people that view the YouTube uh, channel. And, you know, you may be a solopreneur working out of your house these days. You may be a partner in an ensemble practice, or you may be a CEO rainmaker of a billion dollar RA team, right? So there's always going to be some nuances in here, right? But there are some things that are common throughout. I like simplicity. I think a lot of times advisors get, uh, they overcomplicate things. And when you overcomplicate things, it becomes almost impossible to execute. And I want you to think like Apple. Like what is Apple known for? Simple elegance, right? There's a there's just an elegance in their simplicity of their designs. Well, in practice management, uh, practice construction, daily game plan construction, uh, we want to have that that concept of simple yet powerful elegance. So let's start thinking about what it looks like. First off, let's talk about some misnomers. Let's let's do some debunking, if you will. For most of you. Time does not matter. So what I mean by that is it's not relevant how much time you spend doing X or versus Y. And so unless you're getting paid by the hour, tracking your time is just, and I've seen clients do it over my career. I believe there's about 5% of advisors who are mentally and emotionally wired to be that they can track their time, like in like 15 minute increments, what they spend their time on, and that works for them. So, that's, so if you're one of the five percenters, stay with it. I'm not asking you to come off that. That works for you. My, I have a saying in my coaching work: if it works for you, it works for me. Right? I don't come in with some here's my model and you must do it my way. So if you got something that, that was working for you, please keep it. Like these, like tracking time. But if you're one of the 95 percenters that not, let's think about it. What matters in our game? It's outcomes, it's execution, right? And so inside of that, it's really about activities and outcomes versus time. Because then I'll give you a great example. If you say to yourself, hey, I'm gonna take the next hour and call clients. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna okay, 60 minutes for client calls. Get on the phone with the client, chit chat with them, chit chat a little longer. So our brains are wired to like to do the easiest, least common denominator type thing, right? So if you're measuring time, you only may make three or four client contacts in that hour. But if your brain says, hey, I got to make 10 client contacts today. It looks like I got about an hour window here. I'm going to knock these out. You're going to probably have a higher probability of knocking out those 10 contacts, those 10 phone calls. But that's what we're doing. So when you think about daily game plans, I need you to think in terms of actions and activities versus time. The next mistake a lot of advisors make is they do what I call perfect day planning. Now, what does perfect day planning mean? Is that they take their day like there'll never be an interruption, never be a distraction. Like like, like they think of like, if I could be at a, a level 10, eight hours of the day, here's all the stuff I can do. Again, maybe you can do it for a couple days. It's not realistic over time. So I use a term that a lot of, you know, vitamin companies use, medical professionals, which is minimum daily requirements, MDRs, right? Not maximum, not how much we can do in a perfect world, but what is the minimum we need to do in a win win and ugly? Hey, it's we're sideways. Our technology didn't work today. I got a flat tire on my way to the office. My number one client had an issue today. Here are the minimums, right? Need to work. So, because I know if you do the minimums, then we'll be okay. Because here's the other other piece, the other, um, if you will, fallacy mistake myth. 
if you can have a rock star day one or two days a week, but then the rest of the days are absolutely trash, what does that average out to? Mediocrity. So the goal here, when I look at my clients who achieve at a high level economically, there's a lot of things I say here are common themes, right? From how they start their day, which is what we talked about last episode. So if you didn't watch the Morning Success Ritual episode, go back on our YouTube channel, watch the last week one, and even the one before that, if you will. But continuity and consistency are key players of being successful. So if we're inconsistent, like we have one good day, one okay day, then three trashy days, you know, we're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere. So when you work in minimums, you say, okay, worst case scenario, I know I can do these things. Mentally, you're set up to win. Because what happens is if you plan like, you know, in a perfect world and don't accomplish, you fail. And, and that's what most human beings do, most advisors do. They create a game that they really can't win, and then they feel like they're failures. And when we feel like we're failing at something, what do we do? We abandon it. And then we go back to, well, what we've been doing, which is whatever, right? So we always want to think in terms of minimums, okay? That's really important. Uh, and then the next piece, then we're going to get into kind of the, the actual pieces here in this episode. is So times, times of fallacy, right, uh, if you will. Uh, we don't want to deal with that. Perfect day planning doesn't really work. Uh, The third piece, energy matters. And there's three types of energy we bring into our game. I'm not going to unpack them in depth and detail. Uh, That's for another episode. But for here, the three types, physical, mental, and emotional energy, right? And we're just going to spend a little bit more time on physical today because it is part of day. So here's the bottom line. You can have a great business plan. Uh, You can have a great daily game plan. You can be inspired. You can be motivated. But if physically you do not have energy, and I mean like energy upon energy, like massive amounts of energy, right? You will sabotage your success. So, and to me, there's nothing more devastating to an advisor or even maybe to a human being, quite frankly, where you you have this vision you want to accomplish. You want to help other people. You want to elevate your game, your, you know, personally, professionally. You put, you set goals, you do a plan, whatever you do. And man, you just, you just don't got it. Like you get up in the morning and by 10 o'clock, your mind is, man, I just want to get through today. I just want to get through today. I just want to get through today. Getting through the day is not a daily game plan. That is not excellence. That is Finding the bare, what, you know, what's on fire to get done and then relaxing. So what a lot of advisors do, and how, so how do we get there? First off, a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. So I'll say that right now. But I will say this. Many of you sabotage your growth by what you put in your body. Now, if you're watching me on YouTube, do I look like a marathon runner? No. Do I like a triathlete? No. I like to cook. I like to collect wines. I like to drink the wines I collect, right? But I'll tell you this. When I'm in my coaching day, when I'm in my tactical mode, I eat like a friggin' athlete. No carbs, very low carbs, I should say, no sugar, no alcohol. Like, like I'm locked in because I need all my energy to be great. I've had clients that have grown their production by 20%. They didn't, go, they didn't go get another designation. They didn't go buy another marketing program or shiny object or some system. You know what they did? They hired a nutritionist and hit the gym. And they grew the game by 20%. Because when you have massive amounts of physical energy, which, by the way, physical energy is the raw material, the precursor for mental and emotional energy, if you can't have this without the body. You just can't. It doesn't work that way, right? So and I'm not saying you all have to be athletes, but if you adopt that athletic mindset, it's just or eat better. Anytime you order lunch by numbers, it's a bad idea. A number five supersize is going to cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars in your business every year, not just in the aggregate, right? So our game plans are built upon energy. And you need to cultivate that energy, okay? Bottom line, that's what needs to be done. Because if you don't do that, all the things I'm going to share with you right now, it's irrelevant. 
not going to mean anything. Nice idea. I think I'm going to put my feet up on my desk and close my eyes for about 10 minutes. I just, I, just had a, I just had a pizza for lunch, right? We don't do that. So what is a baseline? I'll use the word baseline uh, now that we've kind of debunked a lot of things. What does it really look like? I'm going to tell a story. And this story is probably now 18 years old. I work with a client. He's since retired. And uh, most people come to me uh, because they want to raise their, you know, the state's about the math, right? Production, take home, all that. So we were talking and uh, about Elvin Game. We worked together for a while and we were making really good progress. Like, you know, I got his, I got him organized. I got his morning game rock locked in. I got his daily game plan locked in. He's rock starring out some stuff. We're seeing the production go up, going really well. Then I get the phone call. Um, we are real, I, and he, I can hear something's wrong. And, uh, and he goes, um, my wife's got cancer, breast cancer, and it's bad. I'm like, okay. Okay. So, and, uh, so to make a long story short, cause we can spend a whole episode just unpacking that story. We're not going to do that. So she had surgeries, chemo, but the, but here's what happened, uh, because of the health scenario, the health, the, whatever the insurance scenario he was on, he only got, uh, in-home care for half a day. So, so basically, uh, the nurse would come, I think, like 7 o'clock in the morning, and she would be gone by, I think, 12 or 1 o'clock. I forget exactly, but it was definitely half a day. And so he and I were talking about that, and he goes, well, you know, we're just going to have to abandon the goals, the game plan. I'm, you know, I got to go in survival mode and things like that. And I'm like, well, that's one option. I said, but, you know, I, I said, look. Let's bo- let's boil it down right into what the absolute necess- what's absolutely necessary, right, to do this business, right? And we started to think about all the things he would do, right, from like you know analyst phone calls and wholesaler meetings and branch meetings and all the stuff that was like you know look I'll say it the way and you say it. not exactly a great use of time in most cases. There's always exceptions, but this is not these are not one of them. And so I said to him, I said, look, what if we scrape all that out and let's get down to the bare necessities? So what he and I have figured out was this. Here's what every advisor needs to do bare minimum. Number one, the morning ritual is sacrosanct. You just have to do it. Not optional. The second thing that's not optional is you need to talk to your clients. So we need to reach out, check in, touch, you know, back then we were pretty much doing all phone calls. So we need to check in with our clients, see how they're doing. Uh, the third thing we need to do is we need to do reviews. So we're gonna do we're gonna have two review. You know, we're gonna do two two reviews a day. That's it. That's all we have time for. And what else we need to do? Well, we want to grow. So we're not gonna have time for marketing. We can't go networking. We can't go to the chamber of commerce stuff. We're not gonna do workshops. We're not gonna do client events, right? We don't we we're not gonna we don't time the cold call. We got none of that stuff going on, right? We have no time to go figure out the COIs. So the only thing left is we better talk referrals and we better remind our clients we're open for business, right? And then the last thing, we got to keep track of all this, right? Let's really keep track of these KPIs, key performance indicators. So we took something that for a lot of you make very complex, right? All these things you want to get done every day. And we boiled it down to five proactive. Now, does that mean that there's not admin that come in and client service stuff? Yeah, of course. But we're talking about being proactive here. We boiled it down to five things, and it, I started to call it the one hand daily game plan, daily five. For those of you in Magellan Network, this is our Magellan daily five. Number one, you do your morning ritual, or Magellan land, or Magellan morning eight. We talked about that last episode. Number two, you do the minimum amount of contacts, come hell or high water, every day. Now, what's minimum? It all depends where you are in your career cycle, the kind of clients you serve. Most advisors are going to be anywhere from 8 to 15 contacts a day, okay? Contact is an outbound something. Today, it would be a phone call, email, text messages, whatever, right? We're going to do that. We're going to schedule one to two reviews a day. Now, if you don't schedule them, they don't happen, right? So we focus on the scheduling, one to two a day, okay? Inside of the review meetings and inside of these conversations, right, we three to five times a day, Remind our clients we're here as a resource. We're open for business. Consider us a resource, right? And that'll be another episode to talk about referrals. But that's the fourth one. And then the fifth one is we track the top four. Hey, did we do our morning ritual? How many contacts? How many meetings? How many intro combos? Track it all five. This is 80% of a typical day for an advisor. 
five things. This is 80% of success in this game right here. Five things. Okay? Don't overthink it. Joe, is it that simple? Yeah. Absolutely is. And I've got dec almost two decades of evidence that this is exactly what it is. Okay? Now, here's why a lot of coaches and consultants don't talk about this. Because I, I can't sell you a system or a program for it. Like, what's the program? Look at your hand, assuming, unless you've been around alligators or fireworks, right? Assuming you have all five digits. Here's what I got to do every day. Period. Let me get to my story, my client. So we come up with this, we come up with, hey, let's do this, right? Hey, this is our, this is the only thing we're going to be able to do. But I said, look, man, let's be excellent, right? Let's, let's commit. And we came up with 10 was his number, 10 client contacts. Two, two, uh, you know, one to minimum of one review. If we can get two in, if it works, that's great. But we minimum three referral conversations a day, Monday through Friday. That's how we rock started. Long story short, six months later, his wife, you know, she makes, thank God, she makes full recovery. She's cancer free. That's great. And our intent. So here's what's interesting. Our intent, our intent, was to kind of keep the business right. We didn't want to go down. We wanted to kind of keep it, right? We wanted to keep it. What happened was he grew his top line by 20% that year, a year when he basically worked part-time. And then it confirmed what I, what I knew to kind of be true, but I could never prove it because I couldn't get anybody, because I couldn't put a, I couldn't say, hey, I need you to only work X amount hours a day, right? I, I couldn't convince anybody. So, but I, because of him though, I had, a, I, had, I had a situation where, hey, we're going to really determine whether this, and by the way, and he had to deal with his wife and taking care of her and her needs and the family. So it wasn't like, you know, so this was not a normal scenario. There's a lot of other things going on in this man's world, right? 20% top line increase. And then it, it really validated to me, and, and you guys can all take this way you want. The typical advisor wastes about a half a day every day on BS. Research, CNBC, meaningless conversations, stupid meetings. And when you boil it down to what matters, five things. And it works. So if you want to have a rock star 2021, number one, if you haven't watched the other episodes prior to this, do that, right? I'm, I'm giving you my, basically my secret sauce. This is what I teach, this is what I teach my clients. This is why I work with my clients on. I'm giving it to you here. Test it, proven, validate it. Five things. So two things to make a rock star 2021. Number one, watch this series. Number two, I'm personally inviting you to come and apply. Use my name, my invitation, for I'll, I'll be the one that nominates you for a seat inside of Magellan Network. There's a trial. There's an interview. We only accept about 50% of those who step in. We, we, we extend an actual official invitation to. However, and it's not about how successful you are. Are you ready to elevate? Do you believe you're coachable? You want to be a part of a tribe, an association of like-minded advisors, exactly like we just talked about. This is how we roll. And are you willing to invest in yourself? You check those boxes, click on the link below, apply. Let's have a conversation. Okay? Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. See you next week. So there you have it. If you really enjoyed watching this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the Magellan Network Show with Coach Joe here on YouTube. And remember, I'm always here to help you become a better entrepreneur, business owner, and financial advisor. With that, I'll see you next time on the Magellan Network Show with me, Coach Joe. Take care and goodbye.